What's going on YouTubers? This is Buddy. Just give you a look at the filtration on my 65 gallon mixed reef tank. Before we go on underneath the tank, right here is my uh, auto top off reservoir. I have three 10 gallon tanks laying around so I figured I'd throw one on here. Uh, it holds 10 gallons of water obviously. Uh, it's black. I like that look a lot better than a plastic container or um, a bucket, a five gallon pail. The ones I have are the orange ones from Home Depot, so really didn't want to have that in the side of the tank. I am going to build a, a, a little a little something to kind of match the stand a little better. Uh, I built the stand myself. I'll show you guys in later later videos. But I'll build something here, you know, it looks like the stand and kind of blends in a little bit better. But as you can see, I left this side of the stand open for air movement and stuff. And as you can see, my system's fairly quiet. I know people talk about, uh, you know, gurgling noises and stuff like that, but my system's fairly quiet. I really don't have any of those issues. My skimmer's running. I got I got the camera right next to it. You can't hear it. All right, in this first chamber here, I got my drain line that comes down into the filter stock, my protein skimmer. Uh, I got a UV sterilizer. I don't know if you can see that. You know, it's just a 24 watt UV sterilizer, nothing special. It's not an inline UV, you know, it sits in the sump. You can get them at your local pet stores. You know, it's just a little something extra to help uh, kill any kind of parasites and help to clear, clean the water a little bit. And on this side, the first chamber I have my protein skimmer, my UV sterilizer. Uh, my drain line goes down to filter socks and I have a 50 watt heater. The second chamber is my refugium. I have a 200 watt heater in here. I have macroalgae and miracle mud. That's it. And then in the bubble trap here, I have uh, a sponge to help catch uh, any other particles that make it through the socks, which there is none, but still. And then it comes down here, I have uh, bio balls, which you know houses beneficial bacteria to help break down ammonia and stuff like that. And then in the last chamber here, it's a 1,200 gallon per hour return pump, which goes through that line back up. I have the system soft plumbed right now. In time, I may uh, hard plumb it, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Hard plumb, hard plumbing your system adds uh, complexities to the system, makes it look a lot nicer. Um, but you'll be successful whether you whether you soft plumb or hard plumb. The only reason why I'm thinking about hard plumbing it is because as you can see I have a phosphate reactor right here and I have a pump for that phosphate reactor to feed it. Basically I want to install a dual media reactor from bulk resupply which is uh, phosphate and GFO and I also want to install a bio pellet reactor. Instead of having two pumps to run each one of those I want to plumb the system so I can run it all off the return pump. The return pump I have is 1,200 gallons per hour. Um, I could probably get away with that, but I'm going to upgrade it to something a little bigger so I can do that and get optimal flow through the uh, through all three reactors. So that's pretty much my filtration, guys. Uh, there's really not a whole lot to it. There really doesn't need to be a whole lot to it. But that that's really it. Um, I have videos coming soon of my tank, and you guys can get to see that. All right. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, post them, let me know. Happy reefing, guys.